Hey Freunde, Servus, ich bin der Renten. Ich sag guten Morgen. Ich habe Urlaub, nehme das hier morgens jetzt auf. Äh, ja, ich wünsche euch viel Spaß bei Life is Strange Episode 4. Previously on Life is Strange. Wow. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. 
What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. So, hier bin ich wieder. Ähm, wie jedes Mal wird es ein sehr ruhiges Let's Play von mir. Ich werde nicht allzu viel sagen. Und bereitet euch auf Schmerzen im Herz vor. Jetzt beim Anfang. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? 
Was haben wir da nur angerichtet? Ähm, doch schon ziemlich, ziemlich hart. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Ich meine, wir haben alles dafür gemacht, um sie glücklich zu machen und jetzt sowas, ne? Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Die Megan was. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Ja, super. <lacht> yeah, guck mich rumlauf. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Das ist das Wichtigste, Katzenvideos. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. <lacht> Wie gesagt, ihr könnt das Zeug ja äh, pausieren, wenn es euch zu schnell ist, There's was ich wegdrücke. <lacht> Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, muss das schlimm sein, ne? wenn du dich gar nicht mehr bewegen kannst. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Kann ich hier irgendwo ein Foto machen? Hello Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. That's a serious heat lamp. Gebt mal ihr mal das Wasser jetzt endlich. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. 
They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. <laughs> Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Dann leg mal doch mal den Film ein. Ah, here's the DVD. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Wenn ihr euch an das Unboxing erinnert, äh, der Game Soundtrack sieht genauso aus. <lacht> Was ich sehr geil fand. Ja. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh, this arme Mädel, eh. Um... Das war, glaube ich, die falsche Tür. Dear Sir, you are screwed. Wir gucken uns aber mal um. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Ouch. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Habt dich lieb von der Victoria. Ja, klar. 
<laughs> to think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. <clears throat> So, schauen wir uns mal um, was hier so geht. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Ja, ich will mit ihm sprechen. Hey William. Um Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William? I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Um, ich geh dann. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Wer weiß, wer weiß, was noch passiert, gell? No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Ich finde das so klasse, was für Details die da alles eingebaut haben. Was sich alles verändert, Kleinigkeiten, äh, natürlich große Sachen auch. Es ist einfach phänomenal gemacht. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Ah, we can sogar hochgehen. Krass. Ja, das hier ist äh, Chloes altes Zimmer. Oder ihr eigentliches Zimmer. Joyce und William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boot. I never heard much about William's brother. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Ah, 
Ich weiß gar nicht, was ich sagen soll, ey, weil das, das ist echt... Das ist echt heftig. I guess we stopped growing up together. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Ja, wer weiß, ob das nur ein Zufall ist. Vielleicht ist es auch eine Bestimmung oder sonst was. Könnte ja alles Mögliche sein. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? <lacht> Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Ja gut, das Haus wird nicht woanders stehen. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Ich finde das geil, dass ich hier die, die Schubladen durchsuche im Schlafzimmer und die juckt einfach okay, nur da und findet es geil. They have no idea what's in their future. Ich würde ausrasten, wenn das eine machen wird bei mir. <lacht> oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Das sieht nicht gut aus um die Chloe. It's good for Chloe to stay in. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is already a super mom. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Ja, das ist, äh, das ist auch wichtig. Ähm, ich denke auch, selbst wenn du ein, ein behindertes Kind hast oder so, Hauptsache man ist da, man liebt sich und ach Gott, ist das schlimm, ey, das macht mich fertig. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Ja, manche Sachen ändern sich nie. 
I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Ja, was ich sagen wollte, ähm, für mich ist es schwer, das in Worte zu fassen. Äh, egal was ist, egal wie krank jemand ist, man sollte niemandem für sowas die Schuld geben. Und das Wichtigste, was man einem geben kann und das Beste ist, ist einfach Liebe und Familie und dass man da ist. Mein Wort zum Sonntag. Jetzt schauen wir mal. Theoretisch müsste ich ja hier das Star Trek Ding kriegen, den das Morphium Teil. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. Wobei ich ehrlich gesagt glaube, dass ich komplett falsch bin. Ich hätte wahrscheinlich nur die Just more medicine. in die andere Richtung gehen müssen. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Gut, hier oben scheint es tatsächlich nichts mehr zu geben. No need to go there now. Oder doch? Ich habe wohl was verpasst, hä? Muss ich mit der Joyce noch reden? The bathroom looks on. Das hat man schon. Habe ich die Schublade durchsucht? Ja, ne? Ja. Habe ich auch. Äh. <lacht> Gut, gehe ich nochmal zur Joyce rein. Beende das Gespräch. Hey Joyce. Back again. No complaints here. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, <coughs> I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care. For Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. You too, honey. Okay, back to Chloe. Ich wüsste jetzt ehrlich gesagt auch nicht, wo ich das Ding verpasst habe. No reason to go now. Wollen die mich verarschen? Hm. Ne, 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 hatte ich alles, hatte ich alles, hatte ich alles. Das gibt's doch nicht. Die Tür nicht. Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Muss ja irgendwas im Bad sein, oder? Oder? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Hä, bin ich jetzt dappisch oder was? Das gibt's doch nicht. Ich vermute fast, dass es irgendwie ein Bug oder so. William and I can't believe how much you've grown. Ja, 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 ja. Ich versuche noch mal runterzugehen. No need to go there now. No reason to go now. Hä? What is happening?
Sorgfältig. Ach, da gibt es zwei Schränke. Ach, wie soll man da drauf kommen, ey? Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Ei, ei, ei. Gehen wir zurück zu Chloe. Gerade mal schauen, kann man hier noch rein? Nee, ne? Nee. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. <lacht> Boah, das sind der Schublade oder was? Oh my god. Nee. I made that mix for her when we were 12. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Nothing but medical supplies. Der hat doch gesagt da drüben, holst da drüben oder ah hier wird sein, genau. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you to be my last memory. 
You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oh, das ist so asozial, gell? Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend. No matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of... everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Oh. Chloe. I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Ich muss mich echt zusammenreißen, dass ich nicht losheule jetzt. Wie es weitergeht, wenn wir das Foto scharf stellen, sehen wir beim nächsten Mal. Ich brauche eine kurze Pause. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis dann.